London, England. It's the NFL International Series on EA Sports. as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up with their opponents. My partner Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at the Londoners. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. Leading the charge will be their quarterback. Always fun to watch, Deshaun Watson. And what I loved about meeting with him before the game was talking to a guy who takes ownership of his performance. Two touchdowns, two interceptions last week, but all he focused on was the loss, okay? And he did say, if I change my stats a little bit, not necessarily for me to look better, but that'll help my team. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. The number's there for Connor in last week's game. 13 carries, 61 yards. They've lost a bunch of games in a row now. They've got to start thinking a little bit differently, maybe a little bit outside of the box. Find other ways to move the football. I don't know if you're going to do it through the air or maybe change up how you establish your run game. An early test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. They'll try and run for it with Connor. A first down for Connor and then so. And he takes it across the 50 to the 46 yard line. Third and short, so didn't need much, but got a little extra on the backside. Nice run. Shoot up the yardage, didn't he? To me, that was offensive line with leverage, good blocking angles, taking on a stack. Under pressure now, Watson, and down he goes. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. Getting into the act on the opening drive here with a sack. And remember, they had five last week. And they saw that on film, and that meant that they had to get together. Offensive coordinator, quarterbacks coach, offensive line coach, receivers coach, and say, how do we beat this pressure? Because everyone has to win against the defense and get the ball in the hands of the quarterback very quickly. They get just a yard back there, and now they'll be looking at a tough third and 15. So a look here at the key inactives, and we got this list before the game down on the field. And they tell us the same thing every time, don't they? Next man up. No excuses. Be ready to play. That's the mantra of every organization. The key is having guys on the roster who are capable of filling in and playing at a high level. That's when you know you've drafted well, scouted free agents well, and stocked your team just the way you're supposed to. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. you got to go and make the tackle right away. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. They're led by the number one overall pick in the 2021 draft, Trevor Lawrence. After what we saw last week, over 400 yards passing, I, the obvious thing is to go talk to him. I want to talk to his receivers, and boy, were they enthusiastic about what happened then, and they can't wait for this week's game. He was hitting them outside, over the middle, everywhere, and for his efforts, of course, AFC Offensive Player of the Week. Well, these two teams, they met up way back in the season opener, and it was the visitors getting the win there, so they'll be looking for the sweep back here at home. Dancing to his left. 
and he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. Now this will go for five up to the 33. The numbers for him from a week ago. 13 carries, 54 yards, and a touchdown. And partner, I thought it was a lot of fun for us to be able to sit in on their film session with the offensive line. We saw how they blocked it up last week to pretty good success, and we see what their game plan is for this week. They expect that defensive front to be someone they can move. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. And now they'll throw it with Lawrence. He finds his man complete. It's Bradley. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Off the play fake. Here's Lawrence rolling to his right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Jonathan Grenard. Just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Lawrence dumps it underneath to Tolbert. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that'll lead here to a third down. Now Lawrence to throw. Going for the deep ball. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. He's going to go up top again. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The yeah, fourth down pass play doesn't work out. And as a result, possession switches hands. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Back to throw, Watson. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. No score after one on EA Sports. On first and 10 is Connor. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. Two yards the loss, second and 12. From the 50, it's Watson. They're connecting here with DJ Shark. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Watson. And that's complete to Cooks. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. On first down, it's Watson. Over the middle, complete. That's Thomas. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Watson, off play action. Touchdown! That's caught. Ian Thomas, his first touchdown on the year. As his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Two able to connect on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. This taken in at the goal line. 
And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. And now heading back out there, here's the defense. And let's take a peek at some of the defensive effort here that's helped them get this first half lead. Yeah, I remember in school, we used to have a term for it, break on it. When you see the ball in the air, when you see a receiver make the cut, and you anticipate it, break on the football, get there, make a play. And we've seen a lot of that so far in this game. Coverage has been excellent. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. And the pressure gets to Lawrence, and he'll go down. Kingsley Kiki in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. He sets to fire deep. Oh, a contested ball here, and it's going to be caught. And all the way down to the 36-yard line. And a huge play that time. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Got a man on the right sideline. That's Bradley. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up for the first and goal. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Eluding the pressure right. They'll get that into the hands of Tebow. He can only get a yard after all that. It's second down. Play action. It's Lawrence. Caught on a slam. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. A great effort there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Monarchs are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied here in the second quarter. So that drive spanned five plays. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Now Deshaun Watson and his offense heading back out there. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of a round, too. Blocking at the point of attack there was very strong. He had a couple of running lanes. And I never want to overlook the offensive line, but that's what they get paid to do. How about the quarterback? Everyone thinks all he's going to do is throw the football. His movement and deception can help the running game as well. Now it's counter. And he'll be taken down after a pickup of about seven as the clock will stop here for the two-minute warning. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. There again is Cooks, complete. A gain of six there on first. And, Charles, you, you wonder about this defense coming in. I mean, look, it's no secret they're playing a team that's down on its luck right now. Losers of five straight. How does that change how you prepare for a game? Well, to me, the first thought is you just get after them early, right? Take away any chance of them building any confidence. But the second thing is you prepare a little bit differently. You've got to expect this team to take chances, go for it on third and fourth downs, run a lot of trick plays, anything to try and break their losing streak. So you must stay alert and stay aware. Watson looks to throw again. Over the middle, hauled in by Sharp. Now another timeout called for by the... 
as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Second and four. Watson now to throw. That's caught left side by the tight end, Jordan. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. Now it's Watson. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. And it's caught. Touchdown. James Conner with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Hounds have taken the lead. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Now Young Way Koo for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. On the return, Williams. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. From the gun, it's Lawrence. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So a costly penalty yardage-wise is that'll move the football down to the start of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations whether you're playing the man or the ball. And if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen at the end of the play. But if you're looking for the football, it's less likely to draw the flag. Second and 14. Now Lawrence. He'll buy some time right. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Well, he's going to throw one up for the end zone. And this one dropped in the end zone. Oh, looked like a touchdown, but not to be. And now it's fourth down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. You watch the third quarter already? No problem. Let's do it. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. Taken at the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. From the 30 on second down, Lawrence. He finds his man complete. It's Bradley. Nothing here. And touchdown! Second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Monarchs are an extra point away from evening this one up. 
I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? And, you know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where did you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their... Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that Looking for Cooks, and it's intercepted. Greedy Williams picks it off. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. Forced out to his left. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Kingsley Kiki able to record his fifth sack of the season. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. Looking to throw, Lawrence, flush to his right. He finds his man complete. That's Terry. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. And he'll try and throw here on the fake. And all the gamble fails. It's incomplete. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And as a result, possession switches hands. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Open man right side is Shark. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. And just a yard to go here on second down. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. Got this into the hands of the tight end, Jordan. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Second and eight coming up. Here's Watson. Being chased out left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. The last drive, remember, a similar situation. He forced the ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. And partner, they're locked in man coverage out left, and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. He's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Dwayne Smoot able to record his fifth sack of the season. Remember, they had the nice gain on the previous play, but they just gave a lot of it back right there on that sack. Yeah, they get the sack, get back some real estate. Felt like the type of play that can spark a defense and swing some momentum. Almost felt like a take-that type of a play, didn't it, partner? It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. A field goal would get them the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Faking the give, now Watson. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll try to run it in, going option right. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Offense. 
So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Three yards the game there, second down. Out of the gun, Watson throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Something of a rare incompletion. And remember, Charles, last week under 50% throwing the football. That's what he was, but he has turned that around in this game. The last week was what's commonly known as a fluke. For him to be under 50%, not normal. And it's caught. Touchdown. DJ Jark, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Hounds have taken the lead here in the final seconds of the third quarter. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21. And the ball is knocked out, and this is picked up by the defense. And it's a big turnover there on the final play of the quarter. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Following the fumble recovery, Watson. Miles Jack working free that time to take him down. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. To throw is Watson. Screen pass to Connor. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. They lose two on that last play, so things get even tougher. Third and long coming up. Watson. And he fends him off. But now he's swallowed up and taken down. Call it a loss of four there on the sack. And speaking of the number four, it brings up fourth down now. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it eight. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. Sometimes you're never quite sure there's actually a scheme that got the ball blocked. But I know one thing. The special teams coach, he's going to take the pads on the back for it anyway. It's always interesting to watch after the block, the scramble for the football. Nice job there. They kept their wherewithal, got it, able to return it. And on that, he can take the pads on the back because once you get the block, everything that happens from there is really controlled chaos. And you try and control it through your practice, through your teaching, and understand, expect to get the block. And once we do, this is how we respond. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. Tolbert, and he will take this one in for a touchdown. A great play there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Monarchs are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. It. No good. And they'll remain down by a point. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Here's Memphis to once again go on offense. And they've seen their lead nearly extinguished after that last score. But bottom line, they are still on top with the football. And a touchdown on this drive would really put them in position A. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 
Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. Used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. To the air yet again, Watson. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So it's our visitors with the football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. A first down for Connor and then so. And did he get in? No. Down at the one-yard line. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 1.51 left. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. They'll try to run it. This is Connor. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. James Connor with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Hounds had six to their lead. They do tack on the extra point as well, and that will ensure that it will take a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie it. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Here we go, here we go. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. They'll set up the screen here to Tolbert. And he goes out right around the 39. Well, they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have as well as they understand where they are in the field? He's back to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. This home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? They finally got one. Yes, they did. Well, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. A throw over the middle, take it in. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. First and goal, a touchdown and a two-point conversion here are musts. They'll try the left side. Tolbert and a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. They'll keep it on the ground. Tolbert, and he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. They'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. What a great sequence by this defense so far. They've given him nowhere to go with the football. And they just have to make it stand up one more time because it appears that they've got their number. Can they not have a slip up here and allow the touchdown? And this is caught. He's got it for a touchdown. And now in the final 
seconds. It's all going to come down to a two-point conversion. We'll break down the touchdown later. It's two-point conversion time. Go to your script, pick your play, and go for it. The late touchdown was only half the battle. Now they need the two-point conversion to tie the ball game. They're going to try and run for it. And he will pull his way in there for the two points. Everything was riding on that two-point conversion, and they got it. They got it. They now have the momentum. Time really dwindling in this game. Now their big deal is make sure they get a good kickoff and don't give up anything big on the defensive end. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee, and they'll put it out to the 25. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Tie game, and barring something incredible here, we're likely headed to overtime. What I would do is either hand it off inside or more likely take a knee and let the clock run out. Because if I'm back there trying to throw and a sack happens, the ball comes free, I can lose the game here. If I get to overtime, I can still win it. Watson to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Jordan. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules remind us how this goes. started all even as the kicks away Williams to return and they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27 the offense now at the line ready for their next drive they control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now. The ones who are doing it best know they need to go down and attack put the ball in the end zone and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. 48 yards rushing for him now as he is just trying to will his guys to an overtime victory. On first down, Tolbert. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They'll try the left side. Tolbert. A broken tackle on the run, and then just on the other side of midfield, they get to it. Third and one, trying to keep this drive and overtime going. A big one coming up. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. And he'll give it here to his running back. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. They've had some success here in overtime with this opening drive running the football right back to that well. And why not? When you have that kind of success, make them stop you. And oh, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Michael Davis. And to the 12. That's where it stops. The return is halted at the 12-yard line. A costly mistake here in OT. And you know what they say when you throw an interception like that in overtime? You don't usually get a chance to throw a second one. I mean, I'm not sure the analytics on it. Let's ask Marvin, our statistician, to, to ring that down for us. That's typically how coaches and teams feel about it. You throw one, you likely cost yourself the game. To throw, Watson. Into the hands of Cooks. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Now another timeout called for by the offense. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. Watson. 
Looking sideline incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Watson. Throw over the middle, caught by Jordan. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. He's got Connor at five yards. Not going to cut it here. That clock continues to run. It'll be a gain of five, and it's a second down. Now before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. It'll be their second and final timeout, remember, here in overtime. We'll be back. On second down now, it's Connor. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Well, how about this? The very, very rare tie that we just witnessed. Hard to believe. You don't see it very often. A bonus period of football, yet both teams go home a little bit unsatisfied. So that's it. No double overtime until the playoffs rolled around, so that means this one ends in a tie. Yeah, that's ultimately unsatisfying for both teams, the fan bases. Heck, for us. We True. came here to see a winner, right? <laughs> we winner did. Winner and a loser. We didn't get it. We end up with a tie. Everyone walks away. 